Before 18th century, Qatar was a small and poor Gulf country with less than 12,000 kilometers of empty land. The people were only surviving with fishing and pearl diving. Qatar's modern history begins conventionally in 1766 when residents being traveling immigrants from the boundless deserts of the Arabian Peninsula. Greetings to all our viewers. Today's video is about one of the wealthiest country in the Middle East. Hope you will enjoy the video. And if you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you are new to our channel. In 1939, Qatar's first oil deposit was discovered on its west coast, and in 1971, the natural gas was discovered in the northeast. Since then Qatar's economy began to massive opportunities for rapid changes and modernization to the country. Also, the production process increased a large numbers of foreign workers, as more investors started flocking to Qatar. The economy of Qatar is one of the highest in the world based on GDP per capita ranking generally among the top 10 richest countries on world rankings for 2015 and 2016 data compiled by the World Bank, the United Nations, and the International Monetary Fund. The country's economy has grown despite sanctions by its neighbors, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Petroleum and natural gas are the cornerstones of Qatar's economy and account for more than 70% of total government revenue more than 60% of gross domestic product, and roughly 85% of export earnings. The Qatar government owns all of the agricultural land and generates most of the economic activity. Hence, the private sector participates in trade and contracting on a limited scale. Also, the government considers industry to be an integral part of its plan to diversify the economy and maximize its huge natural gas reserves. Petrochemicals and fertilizers supply make up a large portion of the industrial base, along with steel and other construction materials, through Qatar Steel and Qatar Primary Material Company. In 2007 the manufacturing sector made the third largest contribution to GDP among non-oil and gas sectors equivalent to about 7.5% of GDP. Qatar investment in the UK is already estimated to be worth more than a pound 40 billion. Qatar owns almost 534 acre area of London and that will make Qatar the largest owner of London property. The iconic Ritz London Hotel, at the corner of Brook, Claridge's, the Savoy Hotel in London, the Connaught, the Barclay Deluxe Hotel, Hyatt Regency London, the Churchill, Grosvenor House Suites and the Intercontinental Park Lane. All of these five-star prestige London hotels are wholly or partly Qatari owned, and it's worth more than £8.5bn by some estimates. Also, Qatar Investment Authority holds a 6.3% stake in Barclays Bank. Apart from these, the country became the first ever Gulf state to host the Football World Cup in 2022. This marquee event added to Qatar's reputation and act as a shot in the arm for the country's tourism sector. Based on its analysis, it pegged that Qatar is expected to generate 6.5 billion US dollars, surpassing all previous tournaments and at four times the figure seen in Korea and Japan in 2002. Qatar has an ambitious and long-term development plan under the National Vision 2030 to diversify its economy with infrastructure spending related to transport, education, sports, healthcare, telecommunication and hospitality being a key part of this plan. This year Qatar GDP expected to grow by 4.6% and by 2.3% in 2023, according to HSBC economists. This is what we have for today and hope you enjoy the video. Support our channel by subscribing. Thank you.